Hey guys, it's me, Xander, and I am coming to you today to show you a second hair tutorial. Now, originally, um, I did the How to Dye Your Hair White video, and as you can see, my hair is white still. I still keep it white, um, but I wanted to change it up a little bit recently, so, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do pastel colored hair because it's really easy to go from white to pastel and then back to white because there's such little dye used in pastel hair so it's really easy to strip out. So I'm going to show you how to do lilac and it's super super easy. Um, so the things you're going to need to do this hair tutorial are a bowl, you're going to need a brush for your hair. You're going to need a violet dye. And make sure that it's more on the blue side than the red side. Um, because your hair's not going to come out violet if it's more on the red side. It's going to have more pink tones in it. It's not going to come out right. And the last thing that you're going to need is a white conditioner. I'm using Save Professionals. It's really cheap. It says salon proven to maximize as well as blah 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 for fine hair blah 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 conditioner. So you're going to need a white conditioner. Make sure that it's white and it's a conditioner. Um, the brand I'm using for hair dye is Raw Colors and it is Purple Punch. Um, so basically the only thing you have to do to prep for this is take your hair dye of your choosing and blah, blah, blah. you're going to just get that into the bowl. This has been used a few times so it's a little stuck but I'm going to get it over there. Okay. Awesome. So there you go. You really don't need that much hair dye because you're pretty much just going to drown it out with conditioner. So that's what like the hair dye looks like right now. It's that pretty color like that. I'm going to take my conditioner. I'm going to open it up. And we're just going to squirt a whole bunch of that into here and mix it. Make sure you stir it really well. Make sure it's really well blended into each other. You shouldn't see any chunks or any like super pigmented spots in here. This should be blended very, very finely before you stick it in your hair. And keep in mind that the hair dye will be darker in here than it will on your hair because most of this is going to wash out. So blending, blending, blending. As you can see, I'm working it into each other. This is like what it's looking like right now. I think I'm actually going to go a tiny bit lighter and add a little bit more conditioner in there because it's still quite dark. It's a little smidge of conditioner. And this is really easy to go back to white with, especially if you do lilac. Now, if you want to do pastel pink, like a cotton candy pink, the trick's not red, it's, you have to use hot pink. So, like, you have to get a very, very vibrant hot pink to do it. And then it'll go to that color. And for the blue, like that turquoise cotton candy color, you just have to find, a, like, a very pigmented turquoise and then do the same thing. And you're just going to add conditioner, mix it in with each other, and keep in mind again, I know I've said this like a billion times in this video, but this is not going to come out this color in your hair. When you wash your hair, it's going to like wash out most of that. I'm feeling confident that this is going to come out pastel as fuck. We're blending. Blending. Okay. And this is easily like half a tub of Manic Panic, like when you do this. So Manic Panic makes a product that I'm going to show you called Pastelizer. This is Manic Panic Pastelizer. 
And don't be fooled, this item is a, the Manic Panic Pastelizer is about $12. And don't be fooled by it, don't buy it, because it is just conditioner. You are paying $12 for a tiny little concentrated conditioner. You could buy a super good, like, very strong, like, high quality salon grade conditioner for that price. So keep that in mind and get like 10 times more. Okay, so this is all mixed in with each other. Okay, and it looks like this now. And I'm going to go apply it to my hair. So I'll be back with you in a second in my bathroom with bad lighting, okay? Welcome to my bathroom with the very loud fan and the horrible lighting. Um, I just wanted to show you that this is my concoction. This is my pastel hair guy here. And I'm going to apply this to my hair. Now, I have short hair. Like, I consider this short. So I'm literally just going to, like, glob it and, like, run it through my hair. I'm not wearing gloves just because I don't have any right now. But um, I suggest you use gloves because your hands are going to come out like that. So if you don't want to go to school or work or whatever with blue hands, don't look like a Smurf just done your hands. Just don't. <laughs> um, just wear some gloves. Um, another trick I learned to get hair dye off your hands or your face, if you um, did get it on there, is take a dry cloth and just rub it really good. When you shower, um, it should come off. But another trick for your face is if you go to Sally's, they have like hair liner sticks, and you just put it where your bangs would be going down, your hair would be in your face, and it prevents hair dye from sticking to your face. Um, so I'm going to run this through my hair now. If you have long hair, I suggest that you section it out, clip it back, and do section by section. Um, you should leave this concoction in your hair for about 40 minutes to an hour. Let it sit, make sure it's like worked into your roots, like do a lot of like this to get it through your hair. It's very important to evenly coat these colors because colored pigmented hair dyes like to be more saturated if they're not mixed very well or they aren't applied evenly. So make sure you mix the fuck out of it. Make sure you like scrub it into your hair before you let it soak into your hair. Um, I'm going to come back to you as soon as this is all run through my beautiful white hair that is now going to be violet or lilac. We'll see how it comes out. Um, so I'll come back in one second. Okay guys, so I have applied the hair dye into my hair. As you guys can see, I'm getting some roots in. Um, so this is actually like, this is just something fun I wanted to do until I have to do my roots next because I decided that I'm going to wait till they get longer to do them again because I usually wait till they're like that long, but I'm going to wait till they're like that long now. So it's going to be a little less noticeable if I have colored hair, but um, this is an upcoming, like this is a popular trend right now um, for hair, having this. Um, pastel hair, it's so easy to do, it takes almost no time at all, like, I'm doing this before I have to go to work, so, um, and I'm just gonna let it sit for, like, an hour, and then wash it out of my hair, um, so I'll be back with you guys in a bit, I will put, like, a few links for good hair dyes to use below, and the last thing I wanted to leave you with while this is in my hair, and I'm doing this part, is that, um, if you're only doing a section of your hair, or if you have more like, if you have white hair and you're only doing a section of it, use extensions. Like get a, one track of extensions and just dye that instead of dyeing your hair because it's so much easier to get your hair back to the way it was if you do your whole head. Like I wouldn't dye my whole head purple and then put a streak of pink in that would be a nightmare to evenly tone back to blonde. So like, um, use extensions. If you're just using little bits and pieces of hair, like you're just doing a few highlights or random pieces, use extensions. Don't ruin the overall quality of your whole hair, like on your head, your whole head of hair, blah, 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 with 
just doing a piece of it. Like, it's so much easier to just even a glue in, like, if you have long hair, no one's gonna see that track. So, like, um, I highly suggest doing your whole head if you do this, not just bits and pieces. Um, that is what I'm gonna leave you with. I'm gonna wait 40 to 60 minutes and then wash this out, and then I'll come back to you guys, okay? This is already making my eyes look fantastic, so I love it. Um, and I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys! Okay, so it's been about an hour. I'm getting ready to wash this out of my hair. As you can see, it's really soaked in. I hope it comes out beautiful, because remember, a lot of this is going to come out. So, um, but the there is one part I did while I was waiting for this to soak in that you guys did not get to see. Um, I'm actually, I'll just take you over to the bathroom and show you instead of just talking about it. Um, the part you didn't get to see me do is you didn't get to see me use a flat comb like this and you're just going to comb your hair in every direction possible and it's going to help work the hair dye into your hair evenly so that when you wash it out um, it looks amazing and you should be doing that before you let it soak into your hair. So like right after you apply it just comb right through your hair. I'm going to wash my hair now, and um, I'll come back to you right after, okay? Hey guys, so I'm back. This is my new pastel hair. Um, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. It was super easy. Oh, that was my neck, okay. But this is my new pastel hair. I actually really like the way it turned out. Um, I would have added a little more conditioner to make it like a little bit lighter, but when you dry your hair with the like a towel after, you're gonna take a lot of that out too. So like it may look really dark when you're washing your hair, but when you dry it, it's gonna be a lot lighter. So um, just keep that in mind. This is my new pastel hair, and it looks awesome. So now you guys know how to do pastel hair. Um, and this is really easy to get out. You just use vitamin C to break down the hair dye, and it comes out, and then you just protein boost your hair. Um, after I wash this out of my hair, I conditioned it with Herbal Essence. You can use any of their scents. It's all the same formula, so um, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Hey guys, I just wanted to come back with um, a little video clip of me with dry hair because I ended the last one with wet hair. Um, this lighting is pretty bad right now. I'm still working on getting YouTube lighting. Um, I do have it on my Amazon wish list if you would like to help me purchase better quality lighting. Um, but this is my hair dry. It is very washed out looking on camera. And, um, but in person, it pretty much still looks like it does in the video. It's a tad lighter. Um, this is two days after. I will say your pillow will, like, rub off a little bit of the hair dye, um, when you sleep, so be prepared for that. Um, but it's this beautiful lilac. It's this pastel lilac color. I love it. It's gorgeous. Um, I actually think that I'm going to get extensions and dye them the same color, so... Um, hopefully that will happen soon, because I want hair to, like, here, and then I want bangs to go like this. I want to be a scene kid again. Yes, they never died. Okay, we just went dormant because of the hipsters, so. Anyways, people, here you go. Um, lilac pastel hair. This works for any hair dye. This is my hair dry. This is the side view. I haven't even worn makeup for, like, my last four videos, pretty much, because I don't want to wipe it off, and I have, like, slight razor irritations on my neck. But, um, anyways, lilac hair. I love you guys. And, um, make sure to subscribe if you liked anything in this video. My YouTube is Xander Woods, my Twitter is Xander Woods, and I am Xander Woods on Facebook. So, I hope to see you guys all there. I love talking to you guys. And if you have any requests for any more tutorial videos, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to tackle one of those, um, for my next video. So, till next time, bye!